Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an infinite pattern in Photoshop. So you'll just have a really cool pattern that will go on and on and on. Um, so to start out, we need to create a new document. So go to File, New, or Command N. Um, and, you know, it really doesn't matter how uh, big you make this document. You can make it bigger than 8 by 8 inches. But I would think just for drawing purposes, you would want it to at least be 8 by 8. Um, so really nothing smaller. And the other important thing is that whatever document size that you use, it needs to be square. So whatever your width is, that needs to be the same with your height. You also need to have a high resolution, just because that's a good idea anyway. So 300 pixels per inch is great. Um, if you're printing this, you want it to be CMYK. Otherwise, you can go with an RGB color space, and that's fine. So let's go ahead and hit OK, and this is what we get. Now, we want to create some really precise guides with this at 50% horizontally and 50% vertically. So the best way to do that is to go to View, New Guide, and here I'm set up for horizontal and where it says zero inches I'm gonna type in 50 percent and there's our first guide we're gonna do that again new guide and this time we're going to go vertically 50 percent now I want those to be there but I don't necessarily want to see them right now so I'm gonna hit command colon and that makes them disappear from our site if I want to see them again I can just hit the same command command colon and that'll uh, make them visible or invisible. So now what I want to do is I want to draw some simple shapes into this space. Now I say simple because I'm not working with a um, any kind of drawing pad right now, so um, this will be a very rudimentary kind of drawing that I'm doing here. Um, it really helps sometimes if you start with a theme, and I'm kind of just going to do maybe nature or maybe spring here. I'm drawing kind of a turtle. See. Here's my turtle friend. Let's give him a name, Terry. Terry the tortoise. Terry the tur I don't know. He looks more like a turtle than a tortoise. He's kind of just. There he is. There he's not too bad. Um, and then maybe I'll draw just a basic flower over here. Um, now, the only thing that I'm realizing that I did wrong here, and it's not a huge thing, but I kind of forgot, you really want to, if you can, create a new layer for each one of these drawings. And the only reason that you do that is it just makes it easier. You know, say I decide that I want to move this flower a little bit, I can do that if I have it on its own layer. Right now I have it connected to my background, which isn't, again, a huge deal but it would probably be better if I could have the flexibility of moving this around. So as I go forward here, I'm going to do a Command-Shift-N to create a new layer, and then I'll be drawing um, this next image on there. So I'm going to draw a little bit, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to put this all together. And again, with the drawing, the important thing is don't take anything off the edges of your picture here. So everything needs to stay in the center. Okay, so I'm going to pause, and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back and I've drawn some really horrible <laughs> little drawings here but they're kind of cute and um, again I made sure that I didn't go off any of the edges now I did do something that I think is kind of good when you do this kind of project it just kind of makes um, the pattern kind of flow a little bit uh, more seamlessly and that's adding some lines so it can be any kind of lines that you'd like to add as long as they don't go off the side and with this line, I just kind of spread out my paintbrush a little bit in the brush window to make it look like a little dotted line that's coming from my dragonfly here. So uh, now we're going to work some magic, and we're going to actually turn this into a seamless pattern. So to do that, we need to use our marquee tool. And we need to view those guys that we set up earlier. So if you remember that keyboard shortcut, it's Command, colon, and there we are. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see this a little bit better. And with my marquee tool, that's our uh, square selection tool here, or rectangular selection tool, I'm going to start on the outside of the document. I'm going to click and I'm going to pull that marquee tool in. And I'm going to pull it down until it turns red on the guide that I have there. So you don't want it above there where it's black. You want to pull it down until it turns red. And once you have that, you can go ahead and let go. 
Um, now, with this selected, I have all of these layers that I was drawing on. So now I need to take all of these layers, shift, including the background, um, and I'm just going to hold down the shift key, select them all, hit control, click on there, and then merge the layers. So now what I want to do is I want to cut this layer out. And I'm going to actually unlock the background before I do that. You just double click and hit OK to do that. Um, and now to cut this out, I'm going to hit Command X. So now I've completely cut that out. And with that cut out, I'm going to go to my Move tool. And I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to create a new layer here, Command Shift N. Pull that layer underneath. And then I'm going to move this uh, bottom image up to the top. And you want to get it kind of perfectly positioned. So make sure that you have all the edges lined up there. OK, then we're going to click on that new layer that we created that's now underneath the layer that has this image on it. And on this layer, we're going to hit Command V to paste the original image that we cut. And with that image, we're going to line it up down at the bottom as perfectly and as seamlessly as we can. Now, sometimes it's helpful after you've used the guides to um, take the visibility off the guides again, just to kind of make sure that you're lining it up uh, as you should. And that's looking pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and turn the guides back on again. So now we're going to do something kind of weird. If we're really happy with the way that this looks, we're going to select both of these layers again. Control, so shift and select them both. And then control click or right click and merge layers. So now we're going to go through this whole process again. So I'm going to create a new layer. Pull it under my original layer. Go back to that original layer that I have, and I'm going to use my marquee tool. Start on the outside of my document, and this time I'm going to create a vertical selection. And I'm going to Command X and cut that off. Go to my Move tool by hitting V and take my part of my image that is on the right here, that half that's on the right and move it to the left and line that up as well as you can. There we go. All right, click on the bottom layer and do a Command V and then move that over to the side. And again, just take some time to line this up as well as you can. Okay. That's looking pretty good. So once you're happy with it, you're going to again hold down the shift key, uh, select both the layers, then control click or right click and merge layers. So now we have kind of just the, all, all of the drawing that we've done is just kind of on the edges. So now I'm going to continue the drawing. I'm going to pause it for a second, and then I'll come back and show you what we can do with it. Okay, so I've drawn a few more things in here. And the important thing to understand, and I forgot to say this, um, is that when you're drawing, again, you don't want to draw anything off of the edges. You already have some things that are off of the edges because of the way that we cut this earlier. Um, but it's important that you don't have anything else go off the edge. So now that we have this, what we want to do is, again, compress the layers down. So hold on to your Shift key, select all of those layers, and then Control-click or right-click and merge them. Okay, so now we are going to, again, create a new layer, pull that underneath here, and now we're going to go to our Move tool. I'm going to show those uh, dividing lines that we had before, those little guides. And I'm going to go into my layer here and make sure my Show Transform controls are checked. Hold down the Shift key. Use my corner here to size this down. And you know what's happened, actually? I'm going to escape that and go back up. Sometimes this happens. Um, you get a little bit of the image extended off, and it doesn't quite form into a square. So when that happens, uh, you can go to your Marquee tool, and you can just draw 
a selection on here and then go to uh, image and crop. All right, so now we can go back to our move tool and I can deselect here, command D, hold down the shift key and size that down to a little square. And you want, there we go, both of those lines to be red. So now we're going to apply that. Um, I'm going to go into my move tool again and now with this layer selected I'm going to hold down my option key so that I see two little arrows there, a black and a white overlapping and I'm going to click and drag to duplicate that layer. Now that I have that layer duplicated I can line that up with my original layer and that's looking pretty good so I can just leave it there. Then I can repeat that process so I can uh, hit return, hold down the option key with uh, while I'm in my uh, move move tool there and I'm going to click and drag until I can line up those selections. You can use your arrow keys if you need to kind of move it around. Again, duplicate that, move it over here. Use your arrow keys to line it up if you need to and there we have an infinitely repeating Pattern. So you can repeat this and repeat this and repeat this. Um, if you want it to be about this size, that's fine. I could go through and I could select all of these layers again, merge them, create a new blank layer, pull that underneath, and then go back and repeat this whole process. Um, so again, go back to my layer, hold down the shift key, size that down, and Hit return, option, duplicate, line that up, and you might have to kind of zoom in a little bit here so that you can see it to line it up well. Okay, and then again, option, duplicate. So this can go on and on and on as many times as you would want until you have a, a really tiny little pattern. Um, so you can see this is really fun for creating like wallpaper that you could use on a website or you could use even just as like a wallpaper for your computer screen or background. Um, so kind of try some things out, have some fun. And even with my horrible drawings, you can see it can create a fun little pattern. So experiment, have some fun, and enjoy.